lucky I managed to go up to Tough Street Cruise Night up in um, Wetherill Park on Saturday night. And after we had all that rain on Friday, I thought nothing's going to be on. And I checked Facebook and it was on, so I headed up there. Heather and I went up, checked out some cars and some push bikes and things up there, which was really cool. And I've asked my mate Dale to drop in and give me a hand. How are you tonight, Dale? Good, thanks, Howard. Mate, um, the weather was turned on after all that craziness. Oh, jeez. Thoughts getting all people affected by it, but yeah, it was sensational weather the next couple of days. Look at the colour on that. It's got some pop. Gotta love an XA four door. Yes, you, you think do. <laughs> Louise might have set that up for me? <laughs> Just a little bit. Mate, another good venue. I haven't been to this show before. Um, this is a regular once a month job. Okay, yep. And um, really well organised. They had um, quite a lot of staff there, with their jackets and all on, and it's a 10 buck entry. Cool. Um, as you can see there, a lot of family as well. A fair bit going on under there, Dave, I love it. And I don't know what the go is with the push bikes. So we all had them. Yes. And um, there's a real resurgence at the moment Absolutely. In, in people with um, the old mongoose and red line and diamond back diamond back oh, all that sort, all sort of stuff of things, yep. so we'll, we'll i'll cover those in a minute over there behind these guys and um i'm not sure whether the bikes there lined up with the cars belong to those guys or whether they're part of the other display look at that one Dale. what's that that's it says cobra it says cobra and it's i don't think it's a torino no. so i'm not sure what it it's is unusual there's an aussie one yeah. So, like I was saying, the bikes, you know, the matching colours, I don't know whether someone's gone, oh, yeah, that goes with that, we'll put yep. one with it, or whether these guys all own them. But um, it's pretty cool to see them so well. Um, the pre presentation on them is great. I don't know whether they've been preserved or whether they've mm. been redone. There's your diamond back out. But there you go. My mate Phil Kerjean got into it a bit. His okay. dad used to be a push bike shop owner okay yep. so Phil's yep. got a bit of background in him and he, he built one with the, the two um, top fuel front okay. wheels for the wheels yep. and stuff on it he had it some of that and the the whole market now for the parts for these things gone crazy so yeah. you've got any, it's like, you know, it's like new old stock with yeah, like, or yeah exactly right or whatever, yeah so now it's like oh yeah I've got new old stock yep. wheels and I've got repo yep. this and i got yep. yeah so I haven't got into it and I doubt whether I will but I think it's a cool thing you know, all ages are into the bikes, that's for sure. They are. What did you have, Dale? Can you remember? Oh, I had an old Rally, which is an English brand, but it was, more, it was more of a racing bike than a BMX. It was more of the... Bit like, bigger wheels, mate. Yeah, I had to ride a longer distance. So. <laughs> <laughs> I needed gears. Yeah, had to work. I needed it. gears. So, nice tough looking Falcon there. It's got the mm. stock wheels, but there's something lurking under the mm. bottom by the I couldn't fit it under the standard hood. Now, I like this. Ooh. I have a, a little bit of a um, taking to the small Fords. Yes. And the four pot screamer with the. Little Cosworth, maybe that Cosworth, one. Cosworth, maybe, yep. Side draft Webbers. I like the colour combo, the burgundy with the blue. I like the big, the big ass steering wheel. Yeah, I like the <laughs> stocker. <laughs> Check out the tyres on that, though. Yeah, that's. Uh, NASCAR I might have to do that it. on the van, mate. Yeah, that's right? true. Put some stencil tyres on it. That's you know, it. Stencil yeah. the name on the side. The traditional, traditional looking Tirana there. Mm. That's, that's pretty cool. So there's that car there. Okay, here's so our it's Cobra. A Cobra sticker and a Cobra jet on the on the engine. On the cowl and on the on the grill. So if anyone knows, shoot me a message on on the YouTube and I'll. Know a bit more for next time. Yeah. Intriguing. See that good Ford, mate? Give the door a little shove. <laughs> shut properly. A little gentle assist. An Alpha. Mm. I had a brand new one of these Fairlane style. I thought you were going to say the one. Alpha. I no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Our family car, that was yep. 86, I reckon, something like that. That sounded about right. Yep. Sounds about right. So, um, the lads in blue. The gendarme. The gendarme, yes. <laughs> Actually, two of those were running. Okay. There's no one in it, but the motors yeah, were running. Yeah, well, I'll probably keep all that technology going. I tell you what, there's a lot of these um, Commodores with all the, the big engines and wheels. Look at the wheels on that and the front spoilers. Oh, they're huge. 
very just small hands to work on it. There's one around the back. I don't know whether I got it on the film or not. We'll find out when we get through. But um, the front of it was that low with the splitter and all on it. It was pretty cool looking. Yep. You see that paint there? That almost looks black almost. Yeah. It, it was a burgundy and it, with the sun on it, it actually had a real bling to it. Okay. But very subtle yep. without the sun on it. Yeah, who would have thought, Dale? So a GTR. The Commodore. video one of these at um, Showcars Melbourne. Yep. There was two there. <laughs> wow. At this event, so wow. it's crazy, eh? Mm. It's T TC Cortina, I think it was. I reckon you'd be about right, Dale. Mm. You're rubbing off on me, Howard. Well, we're rubbing off on each other. <laughs> we keep doing this all the time. You've yeah. got to learn a little bit about something, something, don't you? W. Now I swore I'd never do that, Dale. What's that? When I'm doing these commentaries that I just don't say, look at that, a nice XY. Or a... <laughs> now I overheard a guy, and actually the guy might have said to me when I was filming that this um, this little rocket's a, a V8. No rotisserie, it's got a it's got an the, eight banger. It's got an eight banger in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you'd put in that, maybe a little Windsor? Yeah, I think a Probably 302 fit Windsor or something like fit in there. Convertible is nice too. So a decent sized car, the RX4, like size wise. This one looked pretty original under the bonnet. Mm. A little bit of wear and tear on it. And the Valiant. Being a broken hill boy and spending a lot of time in Adelaide, I've always seen a lot of Valiants yep. down there. Well, the story cool. was, if you bought a Valiant, you always had a Valiant, because okay. the only place that would trade it was the Valiant dealer. <laughs> that's about that's right. A fair, that's a fair point. Wants a Dodge, Dodge man. So I wonder what's lurking under that bonnet bar. That's I don't know, but there's fair, plenty of, plenty of real of estate under there. Yeah. Yep. So we got up there, I think it was meant to start at six. We got there just before, and there was probably 50 cars there okay. and we pulled up a park and sort of I don't try and film too early because then you miss some of the cars because mm. they fill the parks and stuff up and the sun was still up so we just waiting for the sun to go down and it was really cool because you're wandering around and the cars are still coming and going yep. and and they had you know plenty like I said plenty of staff there with their little torches and yep. wands and stuff and yeah it was really well, really well organized that Maloo there too that was a Satin, yeah, it's finish like a matte, on that. satiny finish, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, that'd be a wrap or whether well, that's a coat so. of paint. There's a bit going on here, yeah. Right? Nice XR. Yeah, there's a bit of height there, Dale. Mm. I'd say there's a few cubes under there as well. <laughs> a couple of hotties here, the one next to it. This is a, got the stickers on the window and all. It's um, ran at um, Drag Week. Yep. Looks grandpa spec on the outside. It is, mate. Yeah, got the sun visor. Old business under the hood. The steel wheels. Check out the air clan on it. Oh, little couple of spaces. Yeah. Make a bit of mumbo. I've got the, the sun visor, the Venetian in the back, and the radio. Yep. <laughs> the back's in. Eight track. Eight track. Wow. Rubber mats. Oh. You can be different. You can be different. Unique. It's good. Very shiny black. Oh, there's some funky wheels there, H. What's going on there? I don't know. Real, it's real very... unusual centre, isn't it? It is. Now, what did you tell me this bar's called? A Monte Carlo bar. A Monte Carlo bar. Don't know why, but. Oh, okay. And it's meant to stop the towers. Coming in coming from in, the load on the suspension, in, yeah, okay. pushing the towers in at the top. Yep. Pretty slick engine bay this mm. one, Dale. So you get the, the metal work and all in there. It's had a fair bit of work done. Yep. Very nice restored the trim. The colour works with the black. Oh, we need one of these when we go to Vegas. There we go. We could rent one of those and cruise around in that. Hey. I don't know if we could afford the fuel, even in America. It's 
<laughs> that'd be thirsty work. Pea flavour. Hmm. It looks stock, this one, but who knows? People do snake, sneaky things Think these days. It. They do. It looks, uh, yeah. Now, how, how slick looking is this? I mean, it's just a really nice, sharp looking car. Yeah. Bench seat, six up. Mmm. So I used to like about the Fairlane when I had that with the bench seat in the front. You could put six people yeah. in that. Yep. Legitimately and cruise around. Oh, I think that's done the other one for the cow height. That's even <laughs> bigger again. <laughs> that's like a double, a big Mac version, isn't it? <laughs> Two story. I'm just, I read the number plate. Group so A? SS. This is a Group A, is it? Yeah. Well, I guess that's what it's based on. Yeah, yeah so I was, gonna, I was looking to see if it had the scoop on the bonnet. Mm. I'm not sure what that one is, Howard. It's Thunderbird, I think. Thunderbird? Yep. Yeah, okay. Little Lesky. Little Escort. Not so little engine. Stuck under there. <laughs> I didn't know you could fit one of them in there. Oh yeah. They got they're like the Capri's one. They got okay. a big, in, got yeah. in, big engine bay. So these are all cars I haven't seen before, which is cool. Yeah. I mean it must be so normal quite often on a on a Saturday night in Sydney there can be three or four events running and yep. all with 200, 300 cars turning up. Here's another uh, GTR. Yep. Little rotor. Yep. The big snail. I'm looking for it. Yeah, it's on the other side. <laughs> Wait, there's more. There is, and there's more around the back as well. That yeah. the, the um, it was really good there. They got all the outdoor outdoor seating around the, the food places. Yeah, okay. And there's probably I don't know, a good eight. Yep. Eight or ten different choices for food, which is cool. There's Eleanor. I went the basic. Um, <laughs> yeah, Eleanor. I had the basic um, chicken nuggets and chips with a salad. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Had they had a nice risotto. Pretty good. Thumbs up. Yep. When I was a good boy, I didn't go to the donut stand. I stayed away. I'm glad you behaved yourself. Can't do all this work and then have donuts every day, do No. Most days, but not <laughs> every day. Get the wheels on this. Oh, BBS rims, by the looks of it. Very similar, yeah. eh? Yep. I could go a set of them on the van, I reckon. Mm. Someone come up and said, There's the winner. I was filming that one. Must have been his. <laughs> I like their enthusiasm, it's good. Yeah. Well, you mightn't have eaten a donut, but there you, they filled, are. you filled the yeah, donut there it is. Band. That's good. Donut band in. What about this, Dale? This would have to get you going a bit, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, like a I like a, a clean HQ. It's very bright. Oh, you can see it catch the bright, light, yeah. the light's just coming real good for the yeah. camera, but look at the shine on that. It's magnificent. Even better is a little Gemini TD, same model as I had when I was a young fella. First so if car. If, if someone likes that red one, we did a, I did a, Louise put together a short. I did some stuff on the phone, and there's a short with a, a longer version of that okay. HQ, the red one. That one? Yep. A rotary in the Gemini. What was you saying? You had one of them? I had one of these, TD, yeah. that was my first, first car. There's two of them. 
bit more. One with a rotary one. and one with a. Uh, it looks like a Nissan SR20 turbo. You're on fire. I'm no? gonna go. I'm going with that. You're on. Correct fire. me if I'm wrong. You're on fire. I dare you. <laughs> That's how you get your comments up That's here. It. I tell yeah. you, create a stir. doesn't need driving lights because he's got a whopping big yep. <laughs> we need air we need lots of it that's a nice color something different mm. a Kia you see the um, the entries are out for the GT Nationals okay and that when when you read down the clauses it said it's for Falcon GTs only, not Kia GTs <laughs> that lined up all these other GTs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yep. a bit of a classic. I like the couple of guys in the background. You got the deckies, all the deckies lined up there. Yep. The boys obviously do a few shows. They've got the deck chairs yep. out and they know what's going on. Got their spot. And all these cars were there when I got there. They were the early birds. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's only about 90 years between two of those cars, the yellow one, the old 34 <laughs> and the Corvette. You're good at maths, though. Oh, no. <laughs> no? Good guess. Oh, 300? Mm -hmm. Just reading that Bendix banner, I see they're sponsoring one of the supercars now. Okay. It's a name you haven't sort of heard for a no. while in motorsport, and it's popped up now as a main sponsor. Try not to get run over, don't Yes, you avoid that here, please. That's a nice looking car. For a Chev. Yeah, good car. They're a beautiful colour. shape though, aren't they? They are a good cars. shape. Regardless of which side of the fence you sit on, it's just a bloody good shape. 1600 Dado. Goodness me. A yeah, little bit of a Lancer. Fast Fours. Mm. Fast and Furious. This is the uh, Nissan Pulsar. This is the uh, Japanese corner of the. If you need suspension for your ride, make sure you check out Lovells. Go on the website, lovellsauto.com.au. Have a look on there, and there's a full catalogue you can go through and check out what's available for your car. Who's that old bloke? Some strapping young fella. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good old levels, eh? So see the box there in front of that yes. car? That was the new old stock box okay. from the push bike front. Wow. Eh? Imagine if you had put a the price up couple of them much. stuck yeah. away somewhere. Yeah. It'd be nice. They were only a thousand cc when they came out of the factory, that little Datsun. The Ute? Yeah. yeah. an unusual scoop on there. Mm. I don't know what that was. It looked a bit like a, bit a Cobra, but it didn't, a blend. Didn't, yeah. didn't step up quick enough. A couple of late models. Mm. RS. It'll go Hot faster. Hatch. Mm. Now this brought back a few memories, this white one, this RS. Oh yes. When we had the motel in Brighton, we had a manager there, and he'd, he had one of them brand new. Okay. And he used to absolutely rape it everywhere he went. <laughs> he reckoned it was the best thing sliced, yeah. thing sliced bread. It yep. was like a little two litre. He thought it was a great thing. Can't think of his name though, of course. Kingswood. Well, it's the Premier, but it's close. A couple of nice Chevys. Another vowel. The hot wires, I like that look. I'm going to see one with a six still in it. Yeah. The 265, they still had some go. Glant VR4. I think this bloke seen me coming. I said, What do you see me coming? He's come <laughs> over and popped the two engines, and his mate's paying him out in the background. 
Yeah. 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 He knew. He knew. He's got stuff to show off, mate. That's, that's right. why. Absolutely. Living, living life. I'll go back and do this one like while he's getting the lid up. And he's having a bit of trouble. It must be his mates. Look at the brakes. Got the wow. big bright green Fishing. brakes on it. Harrop supercharger. Oh, mm-hmm. goodness me. It's got everything going on in there. Yeah. Lots of fruit. Oh. Levo. It's like Lincoln Ties old one. Mm. So I just have a bit of a wander now, some more out the back. I thought I'd get a bit of the, um, just what I was saying about the boys. Yep. So every time another car come in, they just walk them through, find them a park. Yes, not 10 minutes from where you live here, how it used to be a very, very popular BMX track. Oh, yeah? Here in Dapta. Yep. Mm, when, when I was a young fella and growing up, they used to have some some big races there. Yeah, well, there's a good track down at... Um, Nelbian Park. Nelbian Park. Mm. Yep. Mike and Lois get the girls down there sometimes. Yep. Their mate Steph's got a few bikes and that. They all get down there in the, in the summer and have a bit of a play. There's all that food. Look at that, Dale. Yeah. Great setup. You're not bad on the tooth, you can get into I, that. I, I can, you know, resemble that. That's right. So here's something different. Some of the low rider boys. Yeah. Got a bit of bling happening in here as well. Certainly some effort goes into those cars. Oh yeah. All that engraving and stuff. Yeah. There, was, there was one at SEMA this year, absolutely um everything, even the the, the brackets that held the sun visors on were engraved. <laughs> I mean it was incredible. All the exhaust, yeah. the whole exhaust oh, was engraved. Wow. Incredible. doesn't look bright unless it's got the hot wires on it. That's it. I was just going to say that. They, they do work on the on the, on the Tirana. On those Tirana models. Yeah, this is yep. that front spoiler. I was okay. talking about. Yep. Or the front air dam, I guess, with the splitter. Yeah. Look at the, the splitter wow. hanging out. I reckon that would last about two minutes if that was in my <laughs> car. I'd... I'm amazed he got in the car park. Some of those speed ups. The wagon? Yep. So it was a bit thin on down here, and, and once I got the filming done, we went and grabbed something to eat. And then when I said to Eddie, you want to have a look out the back, because she hadn't been out there. And we went out there, and this had probably another 20 or 30 cars then, but I'd already packed up the yep. camera, so it was, um, they missed out. But There's them wheels, Dale. Look at yes. the size of them. Huge. Pretty big wheel on the front. Stocker. Mm. Who would ever have thought these things would be worth so much, eh? Like that's oh, ridiculous. Today's money, I don't even know what that is, but just guessing it's probably a, you know, it would start at 80 grand if it's driving and registered. Yeah, exactly. It would regardless of the model or the. Yep, just incredible. Gallant. Commodore Club? It's popular. Like it, it's it? popular, yes. <laughs> it's definitely popular. Oh, I'm sure I'll get paid out though. Well, you know. Actually, over the back, I don't know, with Louise, might have grabbed the sound. 
I don't even know what she sticks in what I film, but I'm filming all these Commodores and then someone said something to me and I go, oh, I can't go any quicker. <laughs> But you've got to give them all a run, Dale. They're all there. Yep. It takes all folks. That's it. All sorts. It's a handful of nice bikes there. This um, yellow road bike um, had a fair bit of work done to it. Lots Ooh, of chrome. Yes. I think I've got to go around the back to get a bit more footage of it by memory. I didn't want to trip over something and knock the no, whole row over, you no, know, you see in the movies. That would not end well, <laughs> Howard. Hey, check that out. V twin plenty, super bike. Plenty of bling. Wow. So many nice streeters, eh? Yeah. There's an old stocker. Yeah, look at that one, eh? P played on the club reg, eh? How can you afford that? Well, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just jealous. There'd be a bit of stealth going on under that. Uh, under that bottom, yeah, probably a V8, possibly a V8. They do a... Come on, hurry up with the Falcons. Help Come the on. Ford boys. Yeah. <laughs> You're walking, a, you're walking a bit, bit slower, slower through yeah. the Falcons, I've noticed. Yep. A lot of it comes down to who I've got to get around, Dale, who true. I'm waiting for yep. to move out of the way. Exactly. Get, yep. get the shot. Yep. Trying to get yep. the shot. Struggling to work out what this one was, though. It's uh, like an EBXR8, I think, by memory. Yeah. The VC, that one, that's the first model. Oh, yeah, the crane bumper. Second model. I've gone quiet, Dale. It's all, it's all <laughs> it's Commodores and Commodores. Commodores and Commodores and Commodores. Yep. That's an interesting colour, that one. It's mm. like a, uh, ice, an ice blue. Mm. Oh, look at that, Dale. Stands out, eh? It does. These ones coming up now, the guys that were paying me out now. <laughs> Find that hard to believe. Oh, well, there's a falcon there with it. I have one of them. A hey you. A hey you. Mm -hmm. Ford's ugliest car ever, supposedly. I didn't mind it too much. I had one, but... I think the Taurus might have beaten it, but it was close. <laughs> The SP. It's a classic pair, isn't it? Yeah. That's cute. Nice drama. My neighbour had one of them. Broken Hill. Mm. Brucey Byrne. Brucey Byrne. Bought a brand okay. new, I reckon. Yep. Ended up the manager of the mine. Broken Hill. And I think he's still got the car, actually. Oh, lucky boy. He restored that. Oh, I don't know what year that would have been. I reckon I was probably I reckon early 90s. Okay. 
pretty sure he bought it new. And still got it. Good on him. I'm sure someone will answer that. Fuzzy, you might be answering that. Yeah, young come Fuzz. on, Fuzz. Oh, young Fuzz. Young, young Fuzz you or um, Rob Lee, he'll know. So these are the boys here that were playing me out. <laughs> So we're nearly getting to the end of it. They tell me, I ran into Chubby, and Chubb was telling me that um, it was down on numbers because of the weather. He said yep. they go regular and it's normally a, a bit bigger than this, but I mean, it was a pretty impressive turnout of cars and people, and they had the music cranking, the food was good. It's a really good venue. Yeah, it looked like a good scene. So I'll get up there again, um, whether it's this one or Cars Under the Stars or one of those yep. shows. Look at that though, I That's like that. Sick. Look at the paintwork hey, on that. How hey. good's that? So don't forget, if you're looking for suspension, check out Lovells. Yes, they'll look after you. Yep, lovellsauto.com.au. Go to their brochure, they've got a brochure on there and they do springs and shocks for everything. Yes. So thanks again for dropping in, Dale. That's all right, Howard. It's always thanks good to me. see you, mate. I'm yep. not on the golf course much at the moment, so... I um, no, will rectify that at some point. And we'll be off to um, Melbourne shortly for Motor X, so we'll have a few good videos coming from there. Yep. So thanks for joining us again, yep. and um, I think we'll have one more episode on Boss XC before it gets finished up for Motor X, and then we'll be bringing you lots of cars, lots and lots and lots of cars from Motor X. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Tons of them. Be a good warm up for Vegas. Oh or, yeah. Yeah. So thanks again. Bye bye for now. Bye.